Hey guys and welcome to another ant care guide. This time however I will be remaking one of my oldest videos and my single most popular one with more than a thousand views. My Iridoma Max Bignelli ant care guide. Back then my YouTubing, editing and ant keeping skills were a bit less than ideal so I decided that it would benefit literally every starting ant keeper if I upgraded this care guide. Anyways enjoy. So to start off, you will need a founding habitat for your queen. I recommend a test tube setup like the one shown in the video. First, fill a glass or acrylic test tube with half water, or one quarter if you plan to keep the queen there long term. Then, stuff a cotton ball into the test tube and push it down until it just touches the water. After that, empty the queen into the new setup. Normally, if they have no brood, I just stump them in from my field capture tubes, as they are a hardy species that can handle a bit of rough treatment. But if they have any brood of workers, I like to convince them to move by covering their new nest tube and shining a bright light into the old one. After that, simply plug the entrance of the test tube with cotton, and your test tube formicarium is complete. Next, you will need to sort the queen's diet out. These queens are fully claustral, meaning that they don't need to eat during their entire founding stage before workers, but I often just give them a tiny bit of sugar water to boost egg growth. Just strip a few drops of sugar water onto the cotton. Replug the test tube with the wet side. The queen may not drink it, but if she does, you will notice that the amount of brood she has will greatly increase. After you've completed all these steps, the waiting game starts. Leave the test tube in a cool dark place and do not disturb it for another 3 weeks for the fastest possible growth. When that time is up, check on the queen and she will most likely have workers. Then feed her some sugar water, like how you fed her the first time. And if she has enough workers, place a small cricket leg into the test tube and see if they eat it. Keep feeding them once every 3-5 to five days. And in ideal conditions, after a month or two, if using the other type of setup, the queen will grow out of her current setup. Then you will need a formicarium for her. I recommend starting off with the Oz Ants founding sized acrylic nest and an empire of ants wilderness outworld, and slowly working your way up as they grow. Just attach the test tube to the nest connection port with manual tubing or blue tack. Hydrate the new nest and convince them to move using the strategy mentioned earlier. For an ant keeper on a smaller budget, the best option would be a tub and tube setup and slowly adding more tubes. Just use a large Tupperware container, drill 5 to 6 holes just large enough to stop a cotton ball, and either cover those holes with very fine mesh or stuff them with cotton for ventilation. Then blue tack the original test tube to the floor of the box and add another test tube filled with 1 quarter water and set up the same way as mentioned earlier and cover the bottom of the box with substrate. Add your own decorations if you like, but that step is optional. Your setup is now complete, just add more test tubes to it whenever your colony grows out of its current one. So that's all you need to know about caring for these ants. I might be making a mini documentary on this species sometime in the future, so stay tuned. Also, if you want to purchase more of these ants for yourself, go to my Gumtree store and buy one for relatively cheap. At the time of release of this video, a super sale is going on where I'm selling these queens at wholesale price. When they sell out, the offer will be gone. But anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.